All right, folks. It is time now for episode number five of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on the DGSN. And uh, our last two games, well, could have got a little bit better, but uh, in our last two games, Hunter Dillon walked away with nothing, and then John Flynn, after that, walked away with $1,000. But hopefully tonight's contestant can uh, take us for a million dollars. Please welcome Kyle Hershen into the hot seat. Okay, uh, Kyle, think you can uh, take us for a million? Nickel! <laughs> okay, uh, I'll tell you what, Kyle. If you win the million dollars, we'll pay out your winnings in nickels. Yes, I can make it rain. <laughs> Just like Josh Donaldson. All right, well, you know the rules. You know the uh, lifeline. Uh, if you make it past the $32,000 level successfully, I will allow you the use of the double dip lifeline for the last... For of questions. So on that note, let's play millionaire. Our first question's for a hundred dollars. Mm. You know what? Kind of out of place for uh, for uh, this hundred dollar question, but I have to read it off nonetheless. What is the name of Santa's red nosed reindeer? Blitzen, Donner, Rudolph, Comet. Yep, Rudolph's the one with the big red nose. A hundred bucks. All right. Here we go. Two hundred dollars now. For this one, we need you to fill in the blank for this movie title. Whatever happened to who or what? A, the good old days. B, that umbrella I had. C, the man I loved. D, baby Jane. I'm going to go with whatever happened to baby Jane. Final answer. And you've doubled your money. All right, we are now going for $300. Oh boy. What? Pet Detective is played by Jim Carrey in the films. Dr. Doolittle, Ace Ventura, Buckaroo Banzai, James Harriet. The Ace Ventura final answer. And it's the right answer for 300. Uh, by the way, Kyle, I should mention that Brandon Scruggs currently has the top spot on the leaderboard with $500,000. I hope to beat him. Well, the only way to beat him is the million dollars, and we're hoping you can do it. But first, you got to get through this $500 question. In what sport does Stone Cold Steve Austin participate? Wrestling, boxing, arm wrestling, figure skating. Wrestling, final answer. Yes, yeah, Stone Cold Steve Austin is definitely a wrestler. So, 500 uh. bucks. All right. Kyle, get this next one right, and you leave with no less than $1,000. Oh, I think Matt should know this, because it deals with Hawaii. But he's not the one playing, so... For 1000 bucks, which of these is traditionally danced by Hawaiian women? The samba, the hula, the rumba, or the lambada? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Which of these dances is danced by Hawaiian women? The samba, the hula, the rumba, or the lambada? Answer. Uh, can you repeat that? The hula. Oh, hula. Okay, I didn't hear it. A thousand dollars, just like that. Woo! Okay. Well, Kyle, you got through that one with a uh, little to no trouble. But now these are going to get a little bit harder starting at this point. And, but whatever happens the rest of this game, you've got at least $1,000. We are not going to take that away from you. Okay. All right. So here is your $2,000 question. What was the name of President John F. Kennedy's mother? Mary, Rita, Anne, or Rose? Um, this is where everything starts to... Kinda, I, I think I hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to take a wild guess. I'm going to go with Rose. Final answer? answer? Final. And you've got two grand. Mm. Okay. Now, for $4,000. You still have all three of your lifelines. Which instrument measures atmospheric pressure? A. Barometer. B. Chronometer. C. Speedometer. D. Thermometer. Barometer. Final answer. A. And it's the right one. Because speedometer measures your speed, thermometer's temperature. I do not know what a chronometer does. But it doesn't matter because you've got four grand and now you're going for 8000 Here we go. For eight. $1,000. Which Mediterranean island has been divided since the Turkish invasion in 1974? Cyprus, Crete, Corsica, or Corfu? Uh, I think I'm going to have to use a lifeline on this one. Alrighty. Uh, which one would you like to use? I'm going to go with the... Uh, I'm going to uh, ask the audience. Okay. Audience, Kyle needs your help on your keypads using A, B, C, or D. Vote now. Mm. Okay, we have a 64% consensus on Cyprus. Uh. Crete was, go, Crete was next to 20%. I'm going to go with the audience and say Cyprus. Final answer. And you've got $8,000 coming your way. Woohoo! Now we're going to try and double it to $16,000. You have two lifelines left. And here's your question. Which of these drinks is named after a Mexican region? Rum, Calvados, Tequila, Sambuca. There are, there's one that I can think of off the top of my head that sounds Mexican. That would be tequila. Um, I think that's the only... Mexican alcoholic drink that I can think of, so I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with tequila final. And tequila's right. Mm. Okay. Get this next one right, and you leave with no less than 32,000. And you'll also. And you'll also get the use of the double dip lifeline, so you'll be back to three of them. Okay. For $32,000, which sport was at the center of the documentary when we were kings? Baseball, badminton, basketball, boxing. I'm going to... Are you using a lifeline? Yeah, I'm going to use my 50-50. All right, we can definitely do that. Computer, would you please take away two of the four answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one? Okay, so you now have baseball and boxing as your uh, remaining choices. I have a good feeling that the center of attention and when we were kings was Muhammad Ali. So I'm going to go with boxing, and that's my final answer. And you are guaranteed no less than $32,000 from this point on. Okay. So, do you see the 50-50 dropped you to one lifeline, but now that you've passed the $32,000 level, we're going to give you the double use of the double dip, so you're back to two lifelines. Right. Here's your question for $64,000. Uh, by the way, I should mention you're the second person to make it past the $32,000 level. 
Brand wow. yeah, Brandon was the first, and he wound up winning five hundred thousand dollars. Here's your question: The Mason Dixon line forms the border between which two states? Virginia, Maryland, Maryland, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina. I have a pretty good feeling about this. I don't want to use up my lifelines. Maryland is definitely w one of them. Okay. So that leaves me with Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia was the other one. It just says Virginia. Okay. I'm going to go with Pennsylvania, final answer. That would be Pennsylvania and Maryland, so the B answer. Now, keep in mind that this is a free guess, so you don't lose any money if you're wrong. But we don't have to worry about that because you got it right. <laughs> okay. So you're now at 64,000. You have 64,000 and you are just four questions away. Here we go. You're four questions away, my friend. Here we go. Which of these is not a stringed instrument? Bala, Laika, Mandolin, Celesta, Lute. Um, I have a good feeling I can, I can eliminate two of them. Okay. The Palaleka, I can definitely get rid of. And the Luke. Okay, so that would leave you with Mandolin and Celesta. Mandolin is, I've seen Nancy Wilson play this all the time, um, and it's, it's basically a weird-ass shaped ukulele, <laughs> pretty much. So I'm going to go with Celesta, my final answer. Celesta, he says. Well, Kyle, going into this question, you had $64,000. You don't have that anymore. I know. Because you have $125,000! Yeah! Alright. <laughs> Trying to build up some suspense there for you, and I think I did pretty good. Thank you. Okay. So, you're three questions away, and you have two lifelines left. Here we go. For $250,000, which film actor was the most decorated American soldier of World War I? Gary Cooper, James Stewart, Audie Murphy, Alan Ladd. Uh, you know what? You have friend and Double Dip. I want to try something. I want to try the double dip. Okay. Of course. Now, of course, what this does is it allows you two chances to get the correct answer. But I will tell you this: you cannot walk away upon using the double dip. So, with that in mind, let's have your first answer, please. And what were the choices again, so I can uh, remember? Gary Cooper, James Stewart. Audie Murphy, Alan Ladd. I'm gonna go with Audie Murphy, and that's my final answer. And it's the right one. Oh, oh fuck! Well, I just wasted a, a lifeline, so. Yeah, the double dip. Well, you know what? 
It doesn't really matter as long as you get the money. Okay. Alrighty. Two questions away. Here we go. In what French city was Concorde developed? Lyon, Paris, Marseille, Toulouse. Okay. Yeah, think international geography. Try to think of, uh, go for all the cities in Paris. And trying to remember European history would help you too on this. The choices were, one more time? The choices were, were Lyon, Paris, Marseille, and Toulouse. The only thing that's really coming off the top of my head is, uh... Paris. So I'm going to go with Paris, and that's my final answer. Oui, oui, en Paris. <laughs> uh, oui, oui, Paris, and no, no. It was Toulouse that we were looking for. Oh, man, I fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle, I'm, uh, well, Kyle, I'm afraid that's the end of the line, but you walk away with $32,000. That's a pretty nice payday. Hey, I ain't, I ain't complaining. All right, well, Kyle wins $32,000 and has the second spot on the leaderboard. We will return next time for another contestant in the hot seat for a chance to win a million dollars. So long, everyone.